Boy, let me tell you, I sure do love apples. Applejack, what are you doing? You can't eat all those fucking apples. Fuck you, I can't eat all these apples. Man, I've never seen a pony eat so many apples. Whoa, Applejack, eat all those apples, you're gonna get a wicked bad tummy ache. Wow, hey guys, check it out! Applejack's eating a shitload of apples! Hey, 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 this I gotta see. Hey, sugar cubes, look, I'm a walrus. Or, or, or. Man, right, Applejack, you eat all those apples, you're gonna get a wicked bad tubby egg. Oh, no way, I just said the same thing, you crazy cunt. <laughs> go, Applejack, go! <sighs> oh my god, Applejack. You're crazy, dude. <laughs> Yo, Applejack! You alright? Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Well, let me tell you, that pony sure does love apples! Yeah, far out, dude. Hey, 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 quit poking me with your thing! Fluttershy, have you seen the elements of harmony? Where? Hey, 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 I sure have it, purple guy. Stay out of my shed, okay? Wanna help me look, Rainbow Dash? Yeah, why don't you suck my tit, you dumb bitch? <laughs> Swag. I know! I'll ask Rarity! Rarity! Get your fat ass out here and help me find the elements! Oh, I simply can't, darling. I'm entertaining family today. Your family with over 30 illegal Mexican immigrants? Of course, dear! Who do you think makes my dresses? They come over, they look at my posters, I pretend to whip them, it's a silly pretend game! <laughs> like a family tradition! <laughs> Except they're not allowed to leave! That doesn't exactly seem ethical, Rarity! <laughs> oh, please! Everybody knows Mexicans aren't real people! Oh, Mrs. Rarity, my little fingers hurt from making so many dresses against my will! Oh, my poor baby! Let Mama Rarity look, I'll fix you up! No need to thank me, my dear! Generosity is my middle name! Oh, no! Looks like hard times ahead for Paco! Oh, I truly am the most beautiful creature in all of Equestria! To gaze upon me is to know divinity itself! Mrs. Rarity, I am so thirsty! <laughs> Drink that, dear! When are you going to pay us, Mrs. Rarity? I'm sorry, darling, I can't understand your thick accent. You simply must learn to speak English properly if you're going to live in this country. <laughs> oh, Fluttershy, I've had the help throw together a little dress for you. Maybe now you won't look like such an unwashed tramp. 
Stay out of my shed! Yes, that's me, the most generous pony in Ponyville. <laughs> Revolution! I'm sorry, darling. I'm ever so certain I don't speak that ghastly taco language of yours. Revolution. That's what I was afraid you said. No! No! Not my face! Not my generous face! Whoa, 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 wait up, you assholes. What are we doing here? Twilight said we have to find something called the Elements of Armory. We have to look in Fluttershy's shed. Wait a minute, didn't Fluttershy say something about people going in her shed? Hmm. Yo, Fluttershy, you want to play spin the bottle with us? <laughs> Come on, you guys, don't tease me, I'm shy. <laughs> Stay out of my shed. Yo, I'm bored. You want to go hang out with Fluttershy? Okay. <laughs> Take that, you stupid cunt. Yeah, welcome to Ponyville, faggot. Bada boom. <laughs> Good one, guys. You really got me. Stay out of my shed, okay? And this year's prom queen is... Fluttershy! Oh my god! Now that I've won this, I finally like myself! Yo, this is gonna be so totally fucking rad! Hey guys, look. Fluttershy's all wet. <laughs> Yo, that's my period, you dumb bitch! That's my period! <laughs> Don't laugh at me! Stop laughing at me! Stay out of my shed! Stay out of my shed! I think she said we're always welcome in her shed. Oh my god! Look at all this porn! Swag. Man, Fluttershy sure has a lot of weird art. Yeah, but what do you expect from some quiet bitch who spends all her time in the woods with small woodland creatures? Yeah, what a freak. <laughs> oh god, look at what she did to Derpy. She turned her into a decorative toaster cozy. Hey, hey, hey. What'd I tell y'all about coming in my shed? Well, we're fucked. Take it away, fellas. I'm gonna sing a song for you. I'm gonna show you a thing or two. So have a seat, my dear. And if it's all the same, just sit back and relax. While I eat your brain! Brain, brain, brain! All right, all right, what's going on in here? Um, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> Wow.
Why have things been so weird around here lately? My daddy makes me put glass in my vagina. Yeah, okay, well, good luck with that. is so sick. Hang on. Watch, I can make it ollie. Hang on. Son of a bitch. You have to push your finger forward while you're going. You put your you put your this finger back and this finger goes forward. And all at the same you push down on the back and then you go up with the front. You can do like a kickflip thing. Hang on. My brother can grind. I can't grind. I haven't learned to grind yet. So but you can do like on the edge of a table or something. Hey, you want to see something even cooler? Twilight, how come we're hanging out in a pony boneyard? We need six ponies present or the elements of harmony don't work, Spike. Fluttershy killed Rainbow Dash and we've got to try to bring her back. Man, you are one crazy talking horse. <laughs> I'm going to try a black magic resurrection spell. How about you resurrect my penis? With sex. <laughs> what? For thou who sleeps in stone and clay, heed this call, rise and obey. Track unto the mortal door, assemble flush, and walk once more! <laughs> Any more bright ideas, Einstein? <laughs> oh, I'm full of ideas, Spike. I'm a genius! Behold, the R-5000, physically superior to Rainbow Dash in every way. I figure if we don't have the real Rainbow Dash, then building a Rainbow Dash is the next best thing. You're an idiot. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. Smooth moves, smart guy. <laughs> There's one last thing we haven't tried, Spike. One place where even a maverick mind like my own has feared to tread. Uh, Twilight? 
You're starting to sound less like a maverick and more like a maniac. History is full of maniacs, my friend. Men and women of intellect, highly perceptive individuals whose brilliant minds do neither restraint nor taboo. Such notions are the devils we must slay for the edification of pony kind, even if said edification means violating the rules of decency, society, and righteousness itself. Blah, blah, blah. Keep talking, you stupid crap. Ugh. Take her. We've got to get back to the lab before any pony sees us. You're the boss. Oh, this is fucking rad, dude. Listen closely, Spike. What happens here tonight must never leave this room. For if any pony were to know of this gross bastardization of God's law, their ignorance would label this as the ultimate crime of hubris. Are we gonna rape it? Spike, this is serious! You can't tell any pony, because we'll be in deep trouble You know, you, you can say anybody. <laughs> instead of any pony. Frankly, I don't see what the point of that is. I would have known what you had meant if you had said anybody. Seems to me like that's the kind of thing that everybody's doing just because everybody else is doing it. So... What? Look, I'm cool, dude. I'm down, okay? Frankly, I'm just happy to be here today. Let's just zap this bitch already, okay? I'm getting antsy. Give me a break today, huh? My girlfriend's trying to get me to quit weed. <laughs> This is my favorite kind of magic. Now, Spike, pull the switch. I've heard of shock humor, but this is ridiculous. Your rainbow dash. You all right? I don't get it. In movies, when they shock dead bodies with lightning, they always come back to life. I thought it would be that simple. I guess it's true what they say. There really is no sense in beating a dead horse. Oh well, go bury her again. <laughs> Didn't get me a birthday present last year. Fucking bitch! Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned... Well, maybe I'll learn something tomorrow. Hey, how's about I want to have a pizza pie? <laughs> That's my catchphrase. <laughs> Boring! What else is on? In Camina Diane Pie was the first true celebutante of the pony world. Over the course of her life, the limelight she experienced broadcasted her most intimate moments to a sensationalist public. And the world watched as she transformed from an innocent pop icon loved by millions into a disastrous cautionary example about the dangers of an insatiable addiction to partying.
Pinkie Pie's downward spiral began in 2009 on her 21st birthday. With newfound freedom and her inhibitions entirely abandoned, she was left to explore a frightening nightclub world without a single notion of moderation. No, don't show my pretty pink princess. Wherever the party took her, the paparazzi shadowed her relentlessly, eager to document her tragic overindulgence. I think I'm getting my period. After a brief fling with Alice in Chains guitarist Jerry Cantrell in 2010, Pinkie Pie's partying escalated from drinking to heavy drug use. She started chasing that purple dragon. Not me, because I'm a purple dragon, but I mean, like, heroin. Oh, it's a metaphor. Look it up. You have the internet. But I mean, come on. Everybody knows drugs are dangerous. <laughs> this isn't a drug. Pinky's experimentation with cocaine also took its toll. How would you like it if musicians stole from you? What if Cannibal Corpse stole your precious glasses? And you! What would you do if Ringo Starr just waltzed into your house and stole your... favorite dress? I think I'd mostly just be confused. In 2011, the scandal reached its peak when explicit footage leaked onto the internet featuring Pinky performing sex acts on a currently unidentified partner. Yeah, that feel good, baby? Yup. The tabloids were merciless. Oh, she'd fuck anyone. Chicks, dudes, didn't matter. Fat guys, skinny guys, guys who climb on rocks, dogs, cats, squirrels, bugs, snails. She fucked a snail. I watched her fuck a snail once. That sounds weird, right? Just hearing me say it? Imagine how weird it was to see it. She fucked a snail! As the partying continued to become more extreme, Pinky became belligerent and lashed out at her friends, on several occasions calling them in the wee hours of the morning. What? Spy. What? Who is this? It's Pinky! What do you want? I always thought you were cute. Come over and fuck me. I think I'd rather stick my dick in an anthill. I want you to get some beer. Get some Oxycontin. Come to my house. Let me stop you right there because I'm not going to do any of this. It's 3 a.m. Come on, Spikey. I thought we was friends. Well, no offense, friend, but I hope you're buried alive. Hang on. There's this stupid bitch staring at me. Oh wait, that's me. I'm looking in a mirror. Hang on, I gotta go talk to this mirror. I'll call you back, Spike. Am I the only sane one in this crazy world of Technicolor pony weirdos? I thought it might motivate Pinky to get straightened out if we got a bunch of her friends together and sat her down. Not because I care about her, but, you know... Elements of harmony. And so Twilight set her plan into action. Don't touch me, motherfucker! I'm texting my dog. What kind of turnout is this? Spike, this is supposed to be an intervention. Where is every pony? Applejack's in a coma, Rarity's being held captive by Mexicans, Fluttershy's in the nuthouse, and Rainbow Dash is dead. Any more questions, smartass? <laughs> <sighs> I knew I should have stayed in bed today. Pinkie Pie, you need help. You're addicted to parties. Shut up! You're just jealous because boys think I'm prettier than you. You have a big horse face. No, I don't. You guys aren't my friends. My only friend is 40 ounces of 190 proof straight vodka. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> Fuck me, Pinky, you are amazing! Uh, I think I'm having my period. Oh dear god, it got in my mouth! You got any more fluids you want to spray on me, you stupid cunt? Yeah, this could have gone better. It's twins, in case anyone's gonna ask. I'm gonna name them Snoopy and Prickly Pete. 
In a PR attempt to be perceived as more of a victim of circumstance, Pinky released an autobiography entitled, My Daddy Made Me Put Glass in My Vagina, describing in great detail her relationship with her father, the Reverend Peter Daniel Pye. Don't believe a word this book says. I didn't insert glass into my daughter's genitals, okay? I didn't force her to eat her own hair. I did not hit her over the head with a Sega Dreamcast in a fit of drunken hysteria. And I did not lock her in the basement and blast blood on the dance floor for 17 hours straight when she refused to say the Lord's Prayer. What is that, a band? I don't even know! Yes, I lied about my father, but I had a good reason. Nobody was paying any attention to me. Pinkie Pie's story is a tragic tale of how fame, money, and indulgence can bastardize any of us. If something as pure and adorable as a fluffy pink pony can be tempted into a sinful life of self-destruction, none of us are safe. After an arrest for attempting to shoplift large quantities of ammonia and pseudoephedrine in April of 2012, Pinkie is currently once again undergoing rehabilitation, and her future is uncertain. You might ask yourself why things like this can happen. Are we, the public, to blame? Is it our sadistic lust for watching these giants fall and crumble that pressures them into their ultimate downfall? And finally, why do we as the media choose to report all of this to you? The answer is simple. Because there is not a single thing happening in this world right now that's more important than the personal lives of celebrities. Pinkie Pie has brought smiles and joy to so many ponies throughout the years. With how exhausting it can be to bring happiness to others, perhaps it's no surprise that she seeks parties as an escape from her stressful life. Regardless of it all, one thing is certain. We should all be far less judgmental of this innocent, beautiful creature. Psst, hey, um, <clears throat> what, uh... What are your rates? 10 for a tuggy, 20 for a blowy, and 25 if the cameraman's gonna watch. Yo, these people are a bunch of freaks. No argument here. Yo, TrotCon. What's up? It's Spike. I'm here with the pink weirdo and the rainbow jerk. Yeah, hey! Yo. You guys maybe want to stop that for five minutes? Not really. Wait for it! Wait for it! Now! Now! Punch the wolf! Punch the wolf! What does it look like I'm doing? Wolf punch. Wolf punch. You are the ultimate wolf puncher. Yo, I'm going for the high score this time. Aren't you supposed to be dead? This isn't canon. There you go, it's not canon. Anyway, it says we're supposed to keep this broadcast PG rated for this convention so every pony can enjoy. Ugh, God, they actually wrote every pony. Yeah, so uh, if anyone asks, my eyes are like this because I didn't get any sleep last night. Warning, wolf explosion, wolf explosion. Oh no, I was so close! Yeah, you can't let the wolf die. Would you like to play again? Too bad. Hey, will you guys turn it down? I'm trying to talk to the losers at this convention. So, okay, we'll play your game. We can be PG. We won't say swear words. There won't be any violence. And I promise, nothing scary will happen. <laughs> oh, dear God! Attack! One, two, destroy. One, one, two, destroy. Yo, Trotcon. You all right? <laughs> Swag. Hey, 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 Canada Gardens! It's me, Fluttershy! Hope y'all are enjoying the convention so far. 
I wish I could be there, but unfortunately I'm a little tied up at the moment. <laughs> Do you get it? Because I'm wearing a straight jacket. Oh, dear merciful God, what is that horrible smell? Oh, it's bronies. Listen, I know you guys are proud of your costumes, but do you really have to wear them for three days straight? Hey, do you mind? This is my video feed. Jeez, I mean, do you sleep in your costumes too? You all smell like the inside of a soccer player's shin guard. Who smells horrible? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I'm just talking about the bronies. What's a brony? Somebody who likes cartoon ponies. Oh, you mean like little girls? No, adult men. What? That's what a brony is? That's disgusting! Will you guys get out of here? Yeah, it's pretty bizarre. I mean, they're all weirdos, but I guess it's harmless enough. Yeah, it could be worse. I mean, hey, at least they're not physically attracted to us. That would be really creepy. <laughs> right? Right? Spike? Yeah, about that. Okay, that's it. Bernie's are nice guys and y'all are being jerks. Come on, admit it. Bronies are freaks. Shut up! Hey, Fluttershy, are you keeping the broadcast PG? You might get in trouble if you say swears. I'm not gonna tell you guys again. Hey, 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 stay out of my video feed! Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? You're in there, and we're out here! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, that was close. Hey, where's Rainbow Dash anyway? Congratulations, you got the high score. Yo, alright, I finally did it! I'm the ultimate wolf puncher over here! Wow, incredible! You really are a pathetic loser virgin. You need to get a life, Rainbow Dash. That's right, I know your name. Oh well, at least nothing scary happened this time. <laughs> Oh my god, did Twilight's experiment really bring you back from the dead? I was never dead, I was in a coma. Thanks for burying me alive, by the way. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I guess at some point somebody probably should have taken your pulse or something. Well, what I miss, fag? Uh, things haven't been going so great, actually. Discord, wolf lore, an army of robots that look like you, tornadoes, fires, earthquakes, meteors. There was a flesh-eating virus for a while, a bunch of people got lymphoma after the bombs dropped. Then there was this whole civil war between the Earth Ponies and the Pegasi. Where's Twilight? Hey Twilight, how's your hammer hanging? Yo, I'm back! Are you happy to see me? 
Hey, Twilight, who am I? Who am I, Twilight? I'm you, sourpuss! <laughs> I wanted to save Ponyville, but I couldn't do it. I failed. All because I was abandoned by people I thought were my friends. Rarity, Fluttershy, Pinky, none of them would help me find the elements of harmony. Now everyone in Ponyville is dead. So much for friendship being magic. Ah, uh, come on, Twilight. There's no problem that friendship can't solve. Yeah, okay, that sounded kinda gay. But you'll see. This is nothing a little Sonic Rainboom can't fix. Watch. <laughs> You've ravaged this city, crushed our homes, and destroyed countless lives. The atrocities you've committed against Ponykind are abhorrent and unforgivable, and demand swift, sovereign justice. But because I am honor-bound by the laws of peace and amnesty, I am issuing one final warning to you, Discord. Leave this place, or die. Got it. Got in him. Oh, shit, did I just squish someone? <laughs> Well, might as well make this interesting.
your world will Nobody fucks with Rainbow Dash. Ponies are for little girls! Twilight, now! I hate Mondays. <gasps> Look, Mrs. Derby! A penny! Oh, and it's heads up, too! See a penny, pick it up, and all the day you have good luck! I guess this must be our lucky day! <laughs> Oh god, it got in my mouth again! No, step off me, shithead! Paco, did you just say the SH word? Oops, sorry, Mrs. Rarity. Rainbow Dash, you were absolutely wonderbar out there! You were positively fabulous, darling! And I'm not just being generous! Hey, hey, hey! You can come in my shed any day! Jeez, Dashy, you're one hell of a party animal! <sighs> Thank you for saving Ponyville, Rainbow Dash. I guess... Seriously, though, don't come in my shed! Ah, oh, jeez, my wings are gone! Yeah, not like I wanted those or anything. Those wings that I used to fly. Hey, you know what I still don't understand? Whatever did happen to those elements of harmony? Hey, look! Here are the elements of harmony. They were up my nose the whole time. Yo, what the fudge sickle? Look, it's Applejack! Applejack, where have you been? I feel like we haven't seen you in forever. Hey, y'all. I'm back from my adventures in another dimension. Yeah, okay, whatever. Nobody really cares. Nobody cares? But I saved the entire multiverse from a giant- Nobody cares, Applejack. But, but I- Nobody, Nobody cares. cares! You stupid cunt, shut your fucking mouth. Oh my god, shut up, shut up, a million times shut up. I'm going to kill you. Shut up. Nobody cares. 
Hey guys, you know what I just realized? We're uh, all together again. You know, like a uh, family or something. I guess friendship really is magic. Oh. Man, you guys are gay. I need to get some guy friends. did it. I ate every apple in the whole dang orchard. Every last one. How do you like them apples? You're in my shed.